El oro lleva siendo una buena inversión ya unos cuantos años y son muchos los que están sabiendo aprovecharlo. Nosotros contamos con una de las empresas punteras en el sector y nos acompaña precisamente el CEO y presidente de Monument Mining. Él es Mr. Robert uh, Baldock. Mr. Baldock, thank you for joining uh, Business TV. Thank you very much for having us on the show. Uh, my first question will be about uh, Uh, gold. Why is is it such a good uh, investment right now? Well, at the moment, uh, people in the world, whether they're business people or not, uh, would be noticing the debt crisis. It's spreading across the world, uh, governments, uh, countries, and right down to the individual in the street, are getting their uh, their money debased, and it's a problem for everyone. And gold is a currency, and it holds its value. At the end of the day, throughout history. It's been a store of wealth for the entire world. Mm -hmm. um, what factors will make its price, its value, uh, rise even more? Well, as we get crisis in the world uh, and the, cu the currency become worth very little, uh, countries print money, it creates inflation, the purchasing power of the money disappears or reduces, and people get very worried. So instead of relying on paper currency, They go to gold, and they've done that throughout history. It sounds like a very good investment. Um, what are the risks? Because not everything is positive. Uh, that's correct. Uh, we have risks in the gold mining industry across the whole of the industry, not just gold. And the risk for us centre mainly on finding new resources. So we have an exploration risk. We have uh, the country risks, uh, permitting and those sorts of things that we have to achieve uh, in the country. But we are professional and we've been doing this for many years and we get over all of those sorts of risks. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about Monument Mining. Uh, where does it get uh, its gold and uh, how much is it producing nowadays? Uh, Monument Mining is located in Malaysia. And Malaysia is a very, very uh, safe country. It's a developing country, uh, and it uh, has a legal system based on the British system. So it's very safe and reliable. And uh, uh, we took an asset that was uh, fairly well broken. Uh, we overhauled that. Uh, we made the plant, uh, or we constructed the plant, and built that and got the project into construction and, and eventually production. And we did that in about two years from the acquisition of the project, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you expect to grow? Uh, especially, I, I have in mind the recent uh, Megapur acquisition. Well, we've, we've taken the Megapur project to take the um, company to the next step. Uh, in Salencing, the gold mine that we've uh, got production from, uh, we've got production and cash flow. We produced 40,000 Out, we targeted 40,000 ounces in our first year. We actually produced 44. Uh, we will produce 50,000 this year, and we'll be targeting approximately 60,000 next year. Uh, so that cash flow, plus some new cash that we will get from the market, uh, will allow us to put Megapure into production for the first phase. Uh, that will cost us about $120 million. Uh, we will produce other products like iron and copper Uh, and from that cash flow, we will successively build other phases of the project to increase our cash flow. Uh, Megapure is a, a large project. Um, it will produce uh, many, many dollars of profit for the company, subject to the metal prices of the day. Uh, and we're all subject to those, of course. That's uh, an additional risk. But the world is always going to need copper, iron ore, if it's going to continue to produce motor cars, uh, household goods, and all those sorts of things that the society relies on. So we feel reasonably comfortable that it will survive in the, in the medium to long term. And that's our objective. Uh, our business objectives here are to be able to create sustainable profit so that we can establish a dividend uh, program for our shareholders, and so that the shareholders will be able to see from public information that we are able to produce from these resources profits and pay dividends for decades. That's the business objective. 
and about that dividend, when can the shareholders expect uh, Monument Mining to pay off? Well, we expect to go to the Board of Directors and get approval uh, in this coming year to be able to announce a dividend policy and then uh, provided uh, gold price stays up and we produce like we project, um, we can take a recommendation to the shareholders to pay a dividend. The company itself cannot authorise the dividend. We can make a recommendation to the shareholders at the annual general meeting, but the shareholders have to approve it. Uh, and uh, we think they would. Okay, and uh, my last question, uh, it's about you because uh, the CEO of a company is part of its value. What can you tell me about your career? Uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a chartered accountant in Malaysia. Um, I have uh, been in the insolvency business uh, most of my career and always, or almost always, operating in the mining sector. Uh, so I'm very experienced at taking undervalued assets that are in financial trouble, uh, assessing them, turning them around and putting them into production. Uh, I have a history of that, I've done that for many years and Salencing was one of those sorts of assets. Uh, so it was mega pure. It was an opportunity. So that's my background. Uh, Mr. Balduk, thank you, thank you so much for your time and for joining Business TV. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us.